Hello everyone. Welcome to a new review. My name is Brittany. Today we are going to talk about daily harvest. So I have seen a ton of unboxings of daily harvest. Um, so as you see, I am a daily harvest user. Um, however, we're going to talk about um, the pros, the cons, some tips and tricks today um, that I haven't really seen much from other videos yet. So I kind of figured out um, the whole gist of it, if you want to say. Um, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. Um, so let's get into it. First, let's talk about the pros. All right. So the pros is that, you know, it is quick. It is easy. They do have a ton of variety, um, especially if you are somebody that's like gluten free or on a specialized diets. Um, this is a good option for you. Also, I would say if you are trying to like reset, I guess, for a weekend or something, um, some people call it detoxing. Like, no. Okay. Like detoxing is not a thing. <laughs> okay. Just to let you know. Okay. I know you can be mad at me in the comment section. It's fine. Um, but I like to think it was like a reset. Um, if you want to, you know, reset for a weekend um, and just eat like a lots of fruits and vegetables and like a lot of fiber. Um, I do appreciate the Daily Harvest has a lot of options regarding fiber because that's something that I'm trying to include in my diet, which is one of the reasons why I jumped on this bandwagon. <laughs> um, but yeah, so really like if you're looking to, you know, increase your fruits and vegetables and you just don't really know how to incorporate them in, um, this is a good option for you. All right. So now let's kind of segue into the cons. <laughs> One thing I would say is that they do taste good, but you have to filter through a lot of the stuff. So the good thing is, is that you can track your likes and dislikes on, you know, the Daily Harvest app. Um, however, one thing I would say is you have to order a lot of stuff to kind of figure out what you like and what you dislike. So these are some of the things that were on my likes list. Um, I did add one of the flatbreads in here. However, I don't like the flatbreads, which I'm going to get into in just a second here. Um, but you know, like I said, you can track your likes and dislikes, but it's a learning curve and it's, it's a process. So there are a lot of things I tried that I did not like at all. However, once I really liked something, I was like, wow, this is really good. Um, and it became kind of like a staple in my freezer per se, but it's definitely a learning curve. Um, so let's talk about some of the cons. One thing I would say that um, I wish was a little bit different is there were more high protein options. So two things that I look for in my diet per se is fiber and protein. Um, I don't eat a lot of meat. I'm not like vegetarian or anything, but I just don't really eat a lot of meat in general. So I do look for foods that have higher protein because I just kind of forget them during the week, I guess. Um, maybe it's because, you know, Daily Harvest is vegan. Essentially, it's plant-based. Um, that it's a little bit maybe more challenging. They do have a lot of like bean options. Um, and you know, things with like nutritional yeast and stuff, if you're looking to get in those extra, you know, protein boosts, but they're not really typically, the majority of them aren't high in protein. They now do have like a tab on their app where you can look for the high protein stuff and you can filter in and out like what you're looking for. But overall, I would like to see more options in that area. So now let's get into the flatbreads. All right. They call them flatbreads, and for me, maybe because I think of a flatbread as like a pizza. <laughs> they taste all right. It's not about the taste for me, but it's about the texture for me. All right, so I'm a big texture person. When I like to eat, I like to get that crunch. I'm not, no, I couldn't figure it out. I'll just be honest with you. I could not figure out how to get it crispy. I tried all of the different ways that people said online, oh, okay, you know, put it directly on the oven rack, put it here, put it there. Like I just 
couldn't figure it out. They were flimsy. Some of them tasted good, some of them tasted weird. Like, I don't know, like I would rather just go get a pizza. And I know that they don't say it's a pizza, but I feel like it's insinuating because they say it's a flatbread that it's kind of like pizza. <laughs> But I've tried like way better options, to be honest with you, just even now at, you know, local pizza shops that are offering like cauliflower pizza for gluten-free people. So um, I would also say that their lattes, they don't all taste bad, um, but they don't taste like lattes to me. I don't know. Like when I think of a latte, I'm thinking like espresso, coffee, something's going to amp and pump me up. And I just did not get that um, <laughs> from these. This was the only one that I found actually decent. Um, the other ones I just could not at all. I'm a big matcha lover and I tried the matcha one and I'm going to be honest with you, like it was so, so gross to me. It had this like really, really strong lemongrass, which I get it. Like it was like matcha lemongrass, whatever, but I was not a fan, not a fan. This one was okay. So the chaga and chocolate latte tastes like a hot chocolate. Um, if that's something that you're going to go for. But again, like I wasn't getting that like strong latte taste. Um, you do have to prep them a little bit differently. Um, which, you know, they say like to put them in the blender and I get that frothiness um they come in little pods like this so you have to like run them under hot water first to get them all out um and then you can froth it and mix it with like you know your milk or water whatever you want to have it with I I use almond milk other thing for the cons is it is pretty pricey to be honest with you, you can probably replicate um, the same recipes for a lot cheaper. I have tried to replicate. Um, they didn't taste the same, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know what they put in their smoothies. I would say their smoothies is like the main reason why I keep going back. I love their smoothies. I've tried to re replicate the smoothies and I just couldn't get them to taste the same. I was able to replicate like the the mint and cacao one or whatever and stuff how you say it. Um, anyways, I was able to replicate that one and it tastes pretty good, but the other ones are just really, really hard to replicate. Um, like this one, for an example, the vanilla bean and cacao one, this one's really good. It kind of tastes similar to like horchata, um, but you have to blend it really well. Like or else it kind of tastes funky, but oh my gosh, I'm almost forgetting already, packaging delays. So my sister, she lives in Colorado. She had these issues with the packaging. I've had issues now twice with packaging. So you can only order on Wednesdays and Thursdays, okay? Um, and with that, like you don't even know if they're coming on Wednesdays and Thursdays. I live in the city, like I should not, have any issues with like packaging and typically my packages come faster than normal because I just live in a very central area um, and I live close to like a variety of different like packaging facilities um, so I never have this issue however twice now um, I ordered my package for Wednesday and it came on Friday so you know I mean I don't know some people are picky with that like I was upset the first time because I scheduled my entire grocery list based off of my <laughs> daily harvest. So I was kind of like in a weird situation for like two days waiting. However, the last time it wasn't so much of an issue because um, I already had some leftover from my previous time. All right, now let's get into the tips and the tricks. <laughs> All right, so one thing that I would say is use the pods, all right? So um, they have these little pods here, okay? They're to make almond milk, but I think that they just make everything taste better. So it's like the almond vanilla one for me, I mix them and I put a pod in or two pods, um, whatever it is based off of the difference. But the smoothies, they say to put in two pods and with the little oat bowls. Um, I'm a big fan of the oat bowls, by the way. Um, they say to put in one. Um, I feel like it, it makes it more creamy. Like I said, I'm a big texture person. So I was a big fan of the creaminess. Um, 
and it really helps these little pods so they come in two but look i you can see i've already used them up um now that segue any um going into your oat bowl with your um i like the apple cinnamon one that one's my favorite and um there's also a really good one like the kabuka and chai one um i don't even know if i'm actually saying that right <laughs> But anyways, but that one has raisins in it and I'm not like a big raisin fan, but it tastes really good and I just pick the raisins out um, before I do it. But one thing I really like about these two um, is that they taste good both hot and cold. So you can do an overnight oat type version um, or you can make it hot, um, which I really enjoy that option um, because they're good for like sticking in your lunch boxes or like a fast go um, and you can kind of prep them before so if you know for an example that you're someone like me that like I rush in the morning um, I can just prep it the night before and then stick it in my lunch box which is nice um, because I am at a school and I don't always have time to like run out to a microwave and make microwave some of the meals at work so for me that is something that I really have found useful is prepping, um, prepping the night before. Um, now for pricing. Okay. So obviously I've said it's like expensive, right? The more that you buy. So if you buy the 24 and up, 24 to 26 one, you save more money than if you were to buy, say the smaller mini ones of like, you know, six or, or 12 to 14, you know, stuff like that. So what I would recommend doing actually, I don't know if it's like cheating the system. I don't know if Daily Harvest is going to be mad at me for saying this, but buy a bulk order of like 24 um, to get the biggest discount and then just skip your other orders. You can choose to only order once a month. You can choose to do it weekly or whatever. They do have options for that. I would recommend like if you're not somebody that's going to do this all the time, do it the bulk order for one month. That way you save more money on it um, but you're still getting like the same amount of stuff and they last in the freezer for a really long time uh, like let's say for this one my expiration date they're on the bottom by the way um it says best to buy july 10th 2023 and it's only february so i feel like that's a really good amount of time to you know keep it in your freezer another thing i would say is that if you're not vegan if you're not plant-based you're not vegetarian whatever you're just looking to like add fruits and vegetables into your diet Go pick up a rotisserie chicken and mix it in with the different um, different bowls. So this one is um, a harvest bowl. And if you add like rotisserie chicken on the side with it or a little bit of bread, like they can go a long way. So a lot of times I kind of like to use these as also like side dishes um, along with, you know, chicken or, you know, whatever type of bread I want with it or um you know you can mix it up you can do whatever you want but I would say like the easiest way for me just like go pick up a, a little bit of Hawaiian bread and some rotisserie chicken and honestly can go such a long way but again I understand if you are specifically using this service because you're vegan or gluten-free that might not be an option uh for you but it is for me <laughs> um Another thing that I would say, I know I'm like trying to like, honestly, like, yeah, I'm reading off of my notes because this is a lot to remember. Okay. So another thing is make sure I put on here that you want to make sure your smoothies are fully blended. Okay. I've had a couple situations like with like the blueberry and hemp one, or also with, um, this one here, the vanilla bean and cacao, I would say if they're not fully blended, uh, it really actually alters just your whole experience of the flavor and everything. I don't know why. Okay, maybe it's just me, but make sure your smoothies are fully, fully blended. Even if you like them a little bit thicker, there are a lot of smoothies that have different seeds in them or like nuts and you need to fully blend them or you get a lot of like chunkiness in it, which is kind of weird. Um, and lastly, lastly, okay, um, use your codes, okay? So everyone gets their own code. Again, I am not sponsored, but everyone gets their own code. Um, 
I will link my code down to the bottom, but when you use your code or you give your code to somebody, your friend or whatever, um, is what you're supposed to do, <laughs> they get $65 off of their first box. Not only that, you get $25 off of your next order. So when you go on to like the websites and stuff, even though it says like, oh, you know, everyone gets their like certain amount of discount or whatever, try to find somebody that has like their code so that like you help everybody out, right? So again, I'm gonna link my code down below. That way you benefit, but I also benefit as well in full transparency. If you use my code, I will get $25 back and you can get a code and give it to your sister, give it to your brother, and we can all benefit from this, all right? Um, anyways, I hope this was helpful. That These are things that I wish I would have known prior because all of the reviews that I watched were all of everybody just doing a bunch of taste tests. And I will do some of those in my shorts, but I'm gonna cut it here for now. And I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe for more reviews. It really helps growing this channel. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. See you next time.